Uh, it's the young diamond from the omen again. I was a grumpy kid, my mum and dad said. They said I was grumpy, always asking awkward questions. Any parents out there? Parents? Yeah. Kids ask awkward questions. Before, this is before they get to the Kevin and Perry grunting stage. <laughs> that one had all that. But mum said that I was a real pain. I'd always be really inquisitive. And she said to me, when you have kids of your own, she said, it's really, really important that if they ask you an awkward question, you give them as honest answers as you can, because otherwise it will come back and haunt you in years to come. And I'm sure you'll always remember this. There'll be, be a lot of parents out there. Uh, Gemma was about, oh, well, she's, what, 24 now? She was about two, to coming up for three, and she just moved from, uh, from potty to big toilet. Now, that was a huge step forward, remember? Oh, blimey, you're not still on the potty, are you? Um, <laughs> Well, it was a massive step for Gemma, and she was really chuffed. She was really proud of being encouraged. She was a clever girl on Big Toilet now. And uh, she just, as I say, it's just been a few weeks since she'd now moved on to Big Toilet. And she was upstairs on the loo, and she'd finished. She called down, Daddy finished, Daddy finished. So Daddy went upstairs and wiped her bottom and put her clothes back on and things. And we're walking out of the bathroom, and she said, Daddy, I said, yes, Gemma. She said, where does poo come from? I went, oh, blimey. I said, uh, uh, right, I said, come on, Jim, let's, let's go downstairs and have an orange juice. So we went downstairs, and I'm thinking, I said, OK, be honest. I said, well, Jimmy, you like to play in the garden, don't you? On, on your scooter and your swing. And she said, yes. And I said, and for that, you need energy. And that also helps you to grow up and be big and strong. She went, ah. Oh. And I said, now, you know you eat food. She said, yes. I said, where does the food go? She said, in my mouth. I said, that's it. And it goes down into your tummy, down a tube. And your tummy is ever so clever. Because what it does, it takes all the good bits, all the goodness, and it turns it into energy so that you can be growing every day into a big girl and play on your, on your swing and on your scooter. She went, oh. And I said, and what it does as well, all the nasty bits, the bits it doesn't want, it goes down another tube called the intestine, and it goes into your bowel, and then it comes out your bottom as poo. She went, oh. And Tigger? I mean, I mean, what do you do? I just took the easy option and said, oh, he comes out there as well. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what to say. I mean, the questions you... I mean, um, sex education we had. I mean, did you have sex education at school? No. <laughs> the, um, the, well, they just they started it as a pilot when I was at school. I mean, I was really, really very young. And I believe we have some very, very <laughs> <laughs> rare footage <laughs> with me when I was at school. <laughs> I'm here at Wood End Junior School, where they have just opened their first sex education wing. It is a fairly large and new erection, and... <laughs> The, uh, the three boys behind me have just completed their first sex education lesson, and I'm about to ask them what they thought of it. <laughs> so, boys, you've just had your first sex education lesson. Did you enjoy it? I, I, I know now how Julia Timms of the sixth form got her big fat tummy, <laughs> and, and I think Arnold Tonka gave it to her. <laughs> And was Arnold Tonka also in the sixth form? No, he's deputy headmaster. Oh, OK. Um, right, um, moving on. Uh, now, boys, what have you learned today about the human body, the male body in particular? Uh, well, we saw pictures of a real man's willy. And I've seen my daddy's willy, too. And that, it's all right. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it was. Because he was with my, my mummy, and it's all right to see man's willy if he's with, with mummy. I, I've seen the postman's willy, I've seen the milkman's willy too. No, no, cut, <laughs> Come, please, cut, cut. <laughs> I'm standing outside Drayton Manor County Grammar School, which Rick attended for seven years. In his own account of these school days, which began in 1969, Rick describes himself as being a very popular lad amongst his fellow students. We have uncovered some rare footage of film taken with one of Rick's teachers during his time at the school. So, Mr Blair, you are Wakeman's form teacher, are you? Yes, I I'm going into a care home soon. 
How old are you? I'll be 32 next birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I thought, I've got, I've got six kids, and they're all musicians, and I'm really kind to my kids, because I realise that, you know, one day one of them's going to choose which home I go into, so I've got to be nice to them all the time. And I thought, I can't have a show and have the screen and everything without having at least one of my kids, um, you know, involved. Uh,